Occasionally, someone still gave him a coin, but none invited him to sup with them or share a downy bed. He sometimes stood at their windows, watching those tranquil scenes of hearth and home, and began to wish he could join them. Fritz leapt atop the stump near the window, propped his paws on the sill and looked inside, whining piteously. More murmurs of sympathy arose from the crowd. Then one day, as he stood weary and lonely on the corner, a kind old lady came and sat by him. Henrietta, now dressed in cape and grey wig as an elderly woman, stepped out the door. She sat on the stump, fed Fritz a treat and petted him. She shared a meal and a token of affection. She asked if he ever grew lonely, as she sometimes did. He swallowed his pride and admitted he did. Fritz barked in reply. But that night, the lure of the road called to him, the hope that perhaps in the next town he would find the happiness that eluded him. The old woman opened the door, gesturing him inside, but Fritz remained where he was. The narration continued. Hers was a humble cottage, its larder meagre, her life a quiet one, nothing adventurous about it at all. He should thank her and move on, as he had done for years, as was his way. Mr. Victor paused for dramatic effect, then added, Instead, he took a deep breath and accepted her invitation. Fritz ran and leapt into Henrietta's arms, licking her face. A murmur of satisfaction swept through the crowd. And there he stayed. He might not have adventure or fame, but he had a family and claims upon him, and a place to call home. Happy at last, he sang. Now this is the life for me. Fritz gave a final bark, then Henrietta bowed and exited, Fritz still in her arms, and the crowd applauded.